Hello everyone, this video is entitled Collisions Narrow Phase and in this video we will be learning about narrow phase collision testing. Now that we have a grid with our objects, the next thing we need to do is perform narrow phase collision testing. This is performed by doing an overlap test based on the object's bounding box. For our game we are going to use the object's height and width to make a bounding box around the position. We will then perform a rectangle collision test to see if the objects are colliding. In the renderer class, add a new function called isOverlap that takes in two game entities. This function will calculate the lower left value of both entities and then check for overlap using if statements to return a ball. Take a look at this code. The first check is to see if the left edge of the first box is to the left of the right edge of the second. The next check is to see if the right edge of the first is to the right of the left edge of the second. The final two checks are the same but for the top and bottom. This can be seen here easily, where the blue box is box number 1 and the black box is box number 2. Now we can check for collisions between our ball and our bricks. At the bottom of the update function add this code. This code finds the ball's potential brick colliders and if the ball is colliding with one it changes position and sets the brick to dead. Finally we perform a check for the ball and paddle collision using this code. This code checks for all dynamic objects and if it collides with one of the ball it rebounds. And now if we run the program we can see that the ball collides with the bricks. In the next lesson we will learn about how to implement scoring and lives.